This standing desk absolutely changed my life. It is a must have for anyone's desk setup. It's the only way to be cool like the rest of us. And the best part is it only costs $3,000. Be sure to use my code. Does this sound at all familiar to you? Because for a solid two years, standing desks had a stranglehold on most all tech YouTubers obsession with building the perfect desk setup. And me, I totally did not fall for that. All jokes aside, with the price of these desks being so high, I am very skeptical as to whether or not they're actually worth buying for most people, and I still went out and bought two. In this video, I will not only explain why I bought both the desks, I will also explain whether or not I think investing in a standing desk is really worth the money. What's going on guys? My name is Nathan. I'm a college student majoring in filmmaking. So when the hype was at its peak a few years back, I bought one. And in the time that's passed since then, I feel I've really been able to determine whether or not it is worth buying. So standing desks. On paper, it sounds kind of counterintuitive. I mean, desks are meant to be set at, right? However, standing desks are supposed to bring a wide array of benefits, despite it making any desk setup look like it is owned by a true pro gamer. It actually has other benefits like burning calories, improves your posture, allows you to better focus, etc. So personally, I have a bit of a unique setup here. The desk frame is the Tech Orbits Electric Standing Desk that came in at $393 two years ago. The desktop is a 90 inch countertop from Lowe's that was about $100. It has most of what all standing desks offer. A control panel with four programmable buttons you can set to different heights. I have one for sitting and one for standing, but you can set one for squatting if you're into that sort of thing. While it may not go as high or low as some of the more premium desks do, it still serves the core purpose a standing desk advertises, allowing me to stand and work. Okay, so standing desks for the most part have solid functionality and that they allow me to both sit and stand in the way advertised. And the one I have is really no exception to this rule. But things get kind of tricky whenever you start to consider the value of these devices. Keep in mind, I got a really great deal on my desk and that I kept the full setup under $500. A lot of companies that sell these standing desks start at over $1,000 for their cheapest standing desks. And these will often be half the width of my desk back here. And I will be going over the value section of this video using the amount of money I spent on my desk. Of course, when I first got it, I was really excited and used it a lot. However, as time passed, I started to use it less and less until eventually at this point, I maybe use it once a month. However, it is of course important to keep in mind I am young and fortunately I don't have any back issues. But a lot of people who are interested in buying these are in the same demographic as me and reap very little benefit from spending the money on one of these. And if you do want to take advantage of the benefits that come with a standing desk, it requires quite a bit of self-discipline as sitting is quite shockingly a lot more enjoyable than standing. And when you do put it in the standing mode, you need to make sure that you are standing and not leaning over the desk as you can be damaging your back depending on how you lean over the desk if you are leaning while it's in the standing mode. And on to why I bought two of these. Despite me not being their biggest fan for regular desk purposes, they are amazing for filming B-roll as you can put an object you are filming into the desk and adjust the height of said product rather than having to adjust the height of your camera, which is an enormous time saver as adjusting a camera stand up and down can take a decent amount of time, especially when you're trying to get B-roll as everything has to be level and just right. But when you can just adjust the desk up and down so that the camera can stay in place, it is so convenient. In conclusion, it is of course important to note that this is just my experience and perspective. Your mileage may vary, I just wanna make sure people who are looking to spend a lot of money hear both sides. But in my opinion, if your full-time job is not at your desk, you more than likely will be spending money on something you will very seldom use beyond the initial hype that comes with any new cool product. Thank you guys for your time.